a rough plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha where tan alpha is three quarters. So before we carry on, we can work out what sine alpha and cos alpha are because that's what we're going to need in this question. So if we draw a, a right angle triangle with an angle alpha in it, tan alpha, tan is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the opposite is three and the adjacent is four. Opposite over adjacent. We can work out the hypotenuse. We could use Pythagoras and do three squared plus four squared and then square root. But you should be able to recognize that this is a Pythagoras triple. It's a three, four, five triangle. So now we know all the lengths of the triangle. We can write down what cos alpha and sine alpha are. So cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, four fifths, and sine, sine alpha will be the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, three fifths. A brick P of mass M is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction between P and the plane is mu. Brick P is in equilibrium, so the forces, there's no acceleration. Forces left equal forces right, forces up equal forces down. And on the point of sliding down the plane. So that means friction takes its maximum value, which is mu r. Brick P is modeled as a particle. Using the model, find in terms of m and g, the magnitude of the normal reaction of the plane on brick P. So let's have a quick sketch so I'm going to have a plane and I've got a block on it like so. So that's P. I'm going to write down all the forces. So acting vertically down is the weight and weight is mass times gravity, mg. Uh, per perpendicular to the plane we have the normal reaction, that's R. And we've got a rough plane, we've got friction. So opposing the motion, stopping it from sliding down the plane, we're gonna have friction, which is mu times R. And the angles there is alpha, and that will be the same angle as in, in between the, the, the um, weight and the perpendicular to the plane. So we need to find, in terms of M and G, the normal reaction, that's R. So we need to resolve perpendicular to the plane. So in this direction. So going up, we have R. And that must be equal to part of this mg force. So because we're going in the direction of the angle, it's going to be mg cos alpha. And cos alpha is four fifths. So we can write r is four fifths of mg. And that is our answer. Part b show that mu is three quarters. So this time we're going to resolve parallel to the plane. So going up, we have mu times r, and r is 4 fifths mg. So mu times 4 fifths mg. Going down, we have the other part of our weight, the other part of our mg, which is mg sine alpha. Sine alpha is three fifths. So we've got four fifths mg times mu is equal to three fifths mg. And then we can just simplify this. So divide both sides by mg times both sides by five. That leaves us four mu equals three. 
divide both sides by 4, mu is 3 quarters. For part C and D, you are not required to do any further calculations. Brick P is now removed, and a much heavier brick, Q, is placed on the plane. The coefficient of friction is 3 quarters still. Explain briefly why brick Q will remain at rest on the plane. So, with our forces up and down the plane, M actually cancelled out. M isn't relevant. So, we're going to have exactly the same calculation. So, the forces up will still equal the forces down because the M cancels out. from both sides of the equation. So the forces up the plane will still be opposing the motion will still be mu r and going down will still be mg sine alpha. So mu r will still equal mg sine alpha. I am aware they said we don't need to do any more calculations. So let's just show this. So 3 quarters times R, which was 4 fifths mg, is still equal to mg times sine alpha, which is 3 fifths mg, because the m and the g cancel times both sides by 5, divide both sides by 3, and the 4s cancel out. So they're still equal. The left side still equals the right side. Brick Q is now projected with a speed 0 0.5 meters per second down the line of greatest slope of the plane. Brick Q is modeled as a particle. Using the model, describe the motion of brick Q giving a reason for your answer. So because the forces up equal the forces going down, there will be no acceleration. So there will be no acceleration. It will describe the motion, so no acceleration. So it will be a constant speed. The speed will be constant the brick will move at a constant speed. Down the plane.